This is Dr. Craig Erickson of uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital and the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. I'm the Director of Research at the Kelly O'Leary Center for Autism Spectrum Disorders and the Director of Research in the Division of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I'm here today to discuss personalized medicine in autism and our efforts in that direction. You know, over the last 15 plus years, I've worked in, on autism, uh, new treatment development and clinical trial development in the field. And unfortunately, we've had a number of failed trials. We've not had any new approved medications in the autism sphere uh, since the approvals of risperidone and aripiprazole to treat um, aggression, agitation, and self-injury associated with autism. We've had a lot of large phase three and phase two clinical trials involving hundreds of patients uh, that have all failed in the autism field in the last 15 years. So we've really had to ask ourselves, why have trials failed? Well, trials have failed because we've treated autism like one entity uh, with sort of an all comers approach to giving a specific drug or a specific drug sometimes combined with a new therapy to everyone with autism just based uh, generally on age range. And uh, what we know about autism is if you, if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. There's tremendous individual variation in the field and we have to personalize the medicine of autism. So what are we doing as a research group at Cincinnati Children's uh, to address this? Well, we're doing several things. Um, we have a project right now taking detailed medical and uh, medical and family history combined with blood sampling and getting data from blood assays to identify subgroups of individuals who can best respond to treatment. Um, we're participating with whole exome sequencing genetic consortiums nationally in the United States to find, uh, the, to link individual families to genetic variants that can be causative of autism. But in the end, our clinical trials in the field are really going to focus in on what do we need to do to say that this individual with autism may best respond to a treatment? And how can we carve out small subgroups of individuals with autism? It could be one, two, five, 15, 20% of the population that have certain features that really make them good candidates for specific medication intervention. So we have to break autism down into individual levels. We need to identify subgroups and link them to specific treatments. And we really need to move away from an all comers approach to giving the same drug, the same therapy, the same intervention to everyone with autism. So we're taking those efforts now and we're actively enrolling research subjects in our personalized medicine efforts in autism. And we really appreciate the interest in this work. And this is really our approach uh, to end the trail of negative clinical trials in the last decade plus. Thank you.